Yeah, well, anyway, John, the reason we're here today is because um, uh, you're familiar with the uh, award ceremony that RPCN has every year called the Wall of Fame. Yes. And, yep, you were, I met you at one of them, in fact, yep. uh, a few years ago. And uh, we have had those every year since. And this would be our sixth one if we had it in the 2019. Unfortunately, of course, the COVID-19 thing came along. And so we had to entirely cancel the 2019 gala altogether. But everybody said, well, gee whiz, we have all the people named for awards and all that. Uh, why don't we just provide, present the awards anyway, do it online or in person or however we might be able to. So at least we can get the people deserving of the awards that they earned. Uh, so we're doing it all virtually. Um, you know, there, there are five or six or seven different awards that we uh, uh, present every year. Uh, somewhere along the line, I don't know how this happened, except that I paid the people to do it. They've created this thing called the Steve Royal Lifetime Achievement Award. And um, I was very pleased with that because it's got my name attached to it, and it gives me some recognition that I've... I uh, really appreciate you, after all the justly, years. You justly rightly deserve that recognition. Well, I'm still here. You yeah. still do. Well, anyway, um, I've been presenting the Steve Royal Lifetime Achievement Award for the last couple of years uh, to the people who earned it. And uh, this year, uh, it's you. Uh, Let me just read the uh, definition of the award so you know. It says... This award is in honor of longtime RPCN member Steve Royal because of his dedication, consistency, and willingness to learn new things. This award recognizes any successful entrepreneur within the Rochester region who exhibits these attributes and has conducted their businesses successfully for a significant number of years. And that pretty much describes you, John. And uh, the reason that you got Notice was because in RPCN, there are a lot of us who will remember you because you did RPCN's taxes from the beginning. You created our original uh, nonprofit thing, 50C3, right? Uh, four, probably. Four. Well, I, yeah. we're, I, mean, we, I don't recall exactly what it was. We just converted to a 5036, by the way. So, But you did our taxes for a long time, and along the way, he did the taxes of a number of RPCN members yeah. as well. So it just goes to show you when you join some organization like this, how it can benefit you too. So anyway, uh, you certainly have earned the award and I'm very pleased to pr present it to you. And in fact, Dave even has a picture of it. If you'd like to see what you're gonna get, we can't present it to you formally right now, but uh, I'm sure he'll make sure that you get to it, get it. I'll put that up, John, oh. or Dave, I mean. Or do you want to say? I just, Steve, it is an honor to receive this award. Uh, I believe in RPCN. I think it has been a very successful organization in helping many people to uh, increase their skills and give them support in uh, working in an environment that is becoming more and more common throughout the world, uh, where you use technology, rely on your own skills, and uh, outside of a corporate structure, uh, do what you can do uh, in a business sense. Uh, so thank you very much for the recognition. Well, you congratulations. You, yeah, you mentioned the uh, annual tax talk. Uh, that was a highlight of my life. It, uh, it enabled me to uh, provide information that I had recently gained, because every year as the tax law would change, uh, we would be learning the new law changes uh, and uh, the actually RPC, RPCN provided a way to verbalize the information in a, uh, in a context where people were welcoming, they asked excellent questions and it was always a privilege to present the annual tax talk to RPCN. So thank you very much. Well, congratulations, you've earned it. So now David, can we see the picture of the award? There you go. You see that, John? Thank you. Beautiful. 